This is the largest project in nature aquarium history. It is a 40 meter tank in Oceanario de Lisboa. Following two years of rigorous simulation, now the layout making begins. January 28, 2015, after about two years since the initial invitation for this project, Amano, ADS staff, aquarists from across Europe and the Oceanario de Lisboa team finally faced the massive 40-meter tank. The procedures of the layout are explained by using drawings and a 1 30th scale model. This is plastic. Before starting work, the technical director of Oceanario de Lisbo explains about the important points of the acrylic tank. The acrylic tank gets scratched very easily and we must pay sharp attention. Starting off from the composition of front right, it requires several people to carry heavy driftwood into the tank. Because of the construction of the building, there are four columns arranged in the tank. That was one of the challenges we knew in the preparatory stage. The driftwood in various shapes is assembled with ingenuity to hide these black columns in the tank. Next, working on the front left side of the layout. The composition is arranged in clusters while considering the overall balance of the tank. Stones are used to secure unstable driftwood. <laughs> to avoid the driftwood overlapping when seen from the front, their angles have been slightly adjusted. During work, Amano gets interviewed by a local TV station. It shows that this project is attracting attention. Then one problem arose. The prepared wires were thinner than expected, and they don't have enough strength to secure large driftwood. We had to suspend the work for this trouble. It was a huge loss of time. To make up for the lost time, Amano decided to change his scheme of work. After referring to the scale model, he decided to work on the right side corner of the tank. The water level of the tank is measured to help them correctly position the outflow pipe. Volcanic stones are carried into the tank by passing them from hand to hand. The wall of stones is not simply piled up. A concave shape is created in the center to hold aqua soil. At the same time, another wall of stones is being built on the right side of the tank. Stones are being piled up along the taped guideline. After piling up volcanic stones to some level, driftwood is arranged again. 
This hill zone on the right side of the tank represents the shallow end of a river. When people enter the exhibition hall, the first thing that jumps to their eyes is this introductory layout chapter. Volcanic stones and driftwood are also carried into the left side of the tank. Angles are adjusted to avoid showing the cut edges of the driftwood. What's left was thin and floating light driftwood. Already arranged ones are also taken up from the tank to be secured with stones. More driftwood is arranged on the left side of the tongue to represent trees washed up. The work of day one is finished as scheduled. 